I recently purchased the Chanel 22 mini so black version and I have been using it nonstop ever since. And it got me thinking, what are my most used Chanel bag outside of this one? I have quite a few and there are some that I just don't use that often. And there are some that I use all the time. So I thought you guys might find it useful for me to let you know which Chanel bags I use the most and why. All of the bags I'm gonna mention are bags that are still available in some form or another, maybe not the same color, or the same fabric, but the same shape. So let's get into it. So the first bag I wanna mention is the Chanel 19 bag. I got it when it first came out, the very first season that it came out. This is the last bag that Karl Lagerfeld designed for Chanel before his, his untimely passing, I will say. And I remember getting a Chanel emailer featuring this bag, and I thought, yes, I want that bag. Up until then, I had not always been the biggest Chanel fan. Dare I say, I thought it was a little uh, matronly, a lot of the styles, but this bag felt a little bit more updated. And you know, I was definitely influenced by Instagram. I saw all the cool girls carrying Chanel bags and I thought, mm, is it time for me to dabble into Chanel? So this bag is really what sparked my love for Chanel bags. So I ran in store and I'm sorry, my memory is a little fuzzy. Um, I got this in this black glazed, I think it's goat skin. It's basically a leather that they don't use anymore. I think they either use lambskin or calfskin, but I'll leave the details down below in my description box. In any case, I love this bag. Now, my one issue with this bag, and I actually mentioned this when I purchased my Chanel 22 mini bag because that has a really nice long crossbody strap. Most Chanel bags, don't have a really generous uh, longer strap. They have these longer straps that are meant to be shoulder straps because they hit right at the hip. Now, if I wear this crossbody, it's just a little bit too short. I can definitely do it now, I'm wearing a t-shirt, but if I have a coat on or anything, even just a little bit puffier than this, the bag rides up and then it's like right underneath my boob, <laughs> which is a little uncomfortable. Now, it doesn't stop me from wearing it as crossbody. It's just not the ideal length. I like it just a little bit longer but at least I do have the ability to throw it over crossbody if I want. Now it has a flap, it has cloth lining, it's not leather lining, so it's cloth lining, which keeps it very, very light, which I like. And then it has a back pocket, and of course it has the chain top handle. I just love the chunky hardware. I love the big gaudy double CC logo here. Um, I love that it's quilted, that it's puffy. At the time, I felt like this was such a great sort of updated, more modern look to the bag. I still do. I still feel the same way about this bag and I really love it. Since then, I feel like I've gotten a lot of bags that have taken the place of this, but this, when I first got it, I used it incessantly and it's still one of my go-to bags. The next bag I wanted to mention is one that has probably been on every single trip since I have gotten it. This is my carry on buddy. This is the Chanel Deauville tote. I believe this is the size large. I feel like they change the name of the sizes. Uh, they, they play around with it every once in a while. So I believe this is a large. I will leave measurements of this bag down below. I think that's the easiest way to decipher what size this is. Anyway, this always ends up being my personal item when I travel. I love the fact that it's cloth. If it was leather, it would be a little bit weightier. And when I travel, I like bags as light as possible. It has the perfect amount of space for a laptop, an iPad, my AirPod Max, my little go bag, which if you've ever watched a pack with me video, you know I have a little go bag that has medications and face masks and hand sanitizer and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have all that in a bag that fits in here and all my other goodies. And the best is these handles fit over the telescopic handle on my carry-on bag and then I can uh, whip one of these chain handles over it for additional security, but it fits perfectly on top of my, you know, carry on rolly bag. And it's, it really is just the perfect size. I think the only downside to this bag in terms of travel is that it doesn't zip across the top. It is wide open. Now it's very convenient. I can just stick my hand in there and grab whatever I need, uh, which is very, very handy, especially when I'm like digging for my passport or whatever. But I do sometimes think like, oh, I can get pickpocketed really easily if this bag 
bag does tip over, things do fall out, that's for sure. But I've just gotten so used to traveling with this bag. I don't know if I'll ever be able to replace this as a personal item. I'm actually thinking about getting it in a more neutral color, just so it's not so obnoxious of a shade, but the size, the weight, everything about this bag is absolutely perfect as a personal item. If I put it on its side, it fits underneath the seat in front of me really easily. It's just great. So this bag, I feel like it's probably my most used Chanel bag. Okay, I could be lying. This could be my most used Chanel bag. And I'm not sure if this qualifies as a bag or it's more of an SLG, but this is my Chanel Boy wallet on chain. I use this all the time. I bring this with me when I travel. It is the perfect going out bag. It is the perfect running errands bag. And for an SLG, it actually fits quite a bit because, I don't, can you see? Actually, let me move this chain here. It's gusseted, so it's actually pretty thick. And I can put my phone in here. I can put my car keys in here. That's probably pretty much it. And then it does have some credit card slots in the back. There is a zipper pocket so I can put some change. I can put some uh, valet tickets in here. There is this pocket in the front as well. So this wallet on chain actually fits quite a bit and that's probably why I use it almost every time I go out. I'm starting to bring it with me when I travel too because it's just so handy. It's just so handy if I'm just going out or, you know, when you travel, you're just leaving the hotel room to, you know, go downstairs for breakfast or just go grab coffee around the corner. This is perfect for that. And this strap is very generous. It is a great crossbody strap, which I love. So I think this is my most used Chanel bag. And I call it a bag because it really does fit quite a bit, a little bit more than what I would think a typical wallet on chain would hold. And I do have it in the black caviar leather. And I do love the caviar. It wears so well. And it has just that little special sheen to it. It's so pretty. So that is the Boy Wallet on Chain. And speaking of black caviar leather, I do have this uh, classic flap in the jumbo size and the silver hardware. So I got this from Kat, Kat LSM here on YouTube. She occasionally will sell some of her bags. And when I saw that she had this Chanel jumbo up for sale, I grabbed at the chance. I would someday like a Chanel medium bag, and this is changing, but I've always been kind of a big bag gal. I like being able to carry lots of things with me. Uh, or at least have the option to carry a lot of things with me. And, you know, I'm originally from New York City and you always kind of like pack your life with you whenever you leave in the morning because you just don't know when you're gonna be back and you're usually out all day. So I always kind of gravitate towards larger bags. Now that is changing. I have lived here in Vegas now over seven years. And with car culture, you just don't need to carry that much with you. Anyway, with all of that being said, I wanted to get this version before getting a medium or even a small. Um, and so I took the opportunity and grabbed this from Kat when she was reselling it. Now this has the double flap. It has the leather interior. And this bag does fit quite a bit for a structured bag. As long as you place everything in here properly, I guess you kind of like line it up or you organize it nicely. It does fit quite a bit. And occasionally I will travel with this instead of my Deauville, but I find that I, I don't know, like in my head, I just feel a little bit more precious about this bag than I do the Deauville. The Deauville, I don't mind so much kind of throwing under my seat and kind of kicking it underneath, sorry. But this bag, I feel like I have to be a little bit more careful with. This is a little bit more precious to me. So I kind of stopped traveling with this bag and I've continued traveling with the Deauville. But if I find that I am carrying uh, bulkier things with me, like a bulky pair of sunglasses, if I, decide I need to bring my readers with me somewhere. If I wanna bring like a little makeup bag with me, this is the bag that I like to use because even the 19 doesn't hold as much as this does, even though this one's structured and that one's a little bit softer and you kind of shove more things in there, this one holds quite a bit more. So I liked the idea also that I could wear it crossbody by singling up the chain, but it does end up being and I'll show you, quite low. I would like it just a little bit higher, like right at belt height, I think is perfect. Um, but I do have that option. And you don't really have that option with the smaller sizes, like the medium size. Every time I try and do this, they're like, it's not, it's not gonna work. So anyway, I can wear that crossbody, but generally I just wear it as 
a shoulder bag. And with the straps doubled like this, this really is the perfect length because I could swing it in front of me and just open up the flap. But I love this bag and it really is quite big next to the medium. But I think once I have it on, I don't think it's that big. I don't think it's like that obnoxious. I think it's actually a really decent size. So this has definitely been well used and well loved. And in fact, Kat would probably be pretty horrified at how I've taken care of it because she sent it to me and it was in pristine condition. It looked brand new brand spanking new. I already have to polish it down here. I need to take better care of my bags. But anyway, I love this guy. I use it all the time. And last but not least, this is kind of a no-brainer. This is the Chanel 22. I have it in the small size. This is, I think Chanel just calls this brown. I like to call it caramel at least, or camel. It does come with like a little pouch that does attach. It has this little strap that you can attach your keys to, or you can attach it to this little pouch like so. So very, very handy bag. It is lined partially in the leather and then it goes down to the fabric. So it's not too heavy. And this bag is just easy. It's like a hobo bag. Just throw it on your shoulder, super easy. There's no structure to this bag or I feel like I have to line up my stuff or whatever. So this quite often ends up being like my errands bag, my weekend bag, my everyday bag. I fear the mini has taken over because again, I don't need anything quite so large most of the time. This one is sufficient to hold my phone and everything. But before I got the mini, this small size was perfect and I love this color. I feel like I need more Chanel bags in this caramel color because I have a lot in the black, um, various leathers. And then I actually have two hot pink bags, that Deauville, and then I have a 255 bag in, in hot pink tweed. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just rambling on about this color and how much I love it, but I do feel like I need more, more Chanel bags in this uh, leather color because it's so good. It's, it's so beautiful to me. It's so neutral. I feel like it goes with so many things, but it's bright and it's a nice change to black. Anyway, there was a little bit of controversy with the 22 bag when they first came out. There were some versions where the chain was rubbing against the opening of the bag here. And I remember thinking, oh gosh, is that gonna happen? And I've been keeping an eye on it, and this is one of my most used bags. That has not happened to me. And I did get this maybe the, maybe the second season that it came out. It took a little time for me to warm up to the Chanel here. I was remembering thinking, I wish they had just put like the double CCs here if they had to do something. Um, the, the whole word Chanel kind of bugged me. Obviously I got past that. But yeah, I've been keeping an eye on the leather here at the openings and yeah, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened in my version. I think the versions where I saw on YouTube where it was kind of like wearing down, these were leathers that were coated. Uh, they came out with some with like an iridescent coating and I think maybe it was the coating that I don't know, either compromise the leather or that's what was coming off. I think also some stitching was, was coming undone. Again, I haven't experienced any of that, thank goodness, and I do use this bag quite often. But anyway, this is such a great bag, and people always ask me if I can actually like scrunch it up at the top here. I mean, you can a little bit, but it's not like a full-on uh, like drawstring situation where you can completely cinch it closed. There's just too much leather for that, but you can scrunch it up a little bit like this. So those are my five most used Chanel bags. So if I were to make this video again in about a year, I would say this is gonna end up on the list. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually thinking about going back to Chanel and getting one in a different color. I mean, I love the black on black. I'm so glad I got this, but now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I use it so often. What's like an alternative colorway that I could use that I couldn't use a so black for? That would be a nice addition to my collection. Anyway, thank you so much. And if you guys are big Chanel bag lovers and there's a particular model that you love and you use all the time that I haven't mentioned, please let me know down below in the comment section. And also please sound off on whether you think I should get the Chanel medium size flap because I do think the jumbo is a little bit too big for me these days. And if you have a medium, like do you use it all the time or does it end up kind of being like a special bag for you, like a special occasion bag. Anyway, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.